I am in desperate need of nerd advice. Only top level nerds comment down below. If you don't have a bottle of Mountain Dew open on your desk, don't even look in my direction right now. You have to have, ow, vintage video game cartridges on your wall that you never use. I need top level nerd scientists. This is a matter of life or death. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So to briefly catch you up on how we got to where we are, I bought my PC in 2019. It was fine. I noticed five years later, very loud sound coming, diagnosed it as a power supply issue, bought a new thousand watt power supply, everything was silent, good stuff. Then I realized I could probably get a new GPU with that new found power. So I did AMD 7900 XTX. It was not recommended. Don't go against Nvidia, they say. You might be right, but it was powerful, it was good. So then, it's funny when you replace something loud in your computer, the next loudest thing is now the annoying thing. So my CPU fan was annoying, so I've got the Noctua D15, and while I was in there, a little 5900X upgrade from the 3600X. Come on, that was already down there. Then it was the top fans were a little loud. And I was like, okay, Noctua fans on everything. And now I have a fully silent PC capable of running almost anything. I'm happy. Until I bought the Canon R5 Mark II. Then all of a sudden I could not play the files. 4K 24P RAW was like stuttering. I was like, no, not this again. I thought I had the beast of the gods. And so 8K 60, can't play the damn thing. And I'm just... Why? Why me? That's when Lester Nichols reaches out to me. You've probably heard of him. He's a famous cyber... Let me just... Famous. He's nerd famous, if we're being real with ourselves. But he's a cybersecurity analyst. That's not the words. I make up his job. He's like cyber Batman. He knows the stuff. And he reaches out to me. He's like, you just found the perfect camera and you can't edit the files? Not on my watch. None of my watch, buddy. So he's like, I'm going to give you my PC. It's way better than yours. I th was thinking of upgrading anyway. Here you go, buddy. This is all for you. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Ah. So first, thank you so much, Lester Nichols. Go buy his book. Go to visit his website or else. And thank you so much. That man is a saint. He just put in so much effort. He's like installing programs. It was going to be a Linux machine. I was like... I don't know, man, my computer or my music program's not going to run on it. I almost did it. I was just like, okay, maybe not, just Windows for now. He shipped it to me from the States. He packed it all good. And he even paid the customs fee, which was like a ridiculous, almost $700. He's just like, ah, don't worry about it. So thank you so much, my friend. And it's way faster than my computer. On paper, I was like, I don't know. Is that really going to even be much better? It's actually worse in some areas, but... Could not believe it when I played the 4K S RAW, no problem, 8K 60P, it's like smooth. I'm like, wow, well done. So first let's go over the specs of the new machine and then you nerds can take a break from your Dungeons and Dragons and I need some help over here with advice. So we went from a 5900X to a 5950X. Modest upgrade, but noticeable. I almost went with that and I was like, I don't need that much. And, so that's the top of the line AM4 AMD CPU. We have 128 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 3600-ish mega minutes per second. Pretty good, 120, like holy shit. And the video card, seemingly worse, but is it? A 4070 Super, very modest card, but it's Nvidia. And first nerd advice that comes from you is, is that why my files play all smooth now? Just because NVIDIA is better than AMD and they can decode the files? Because as we'll see, I render a video in like 30 minutes filming raw on my old PC, whereas this one did it in under seven. I was like, what the hell is that? And it's smooth and it's like, why though? So it's a new motherboard as well, Asus Crosshair V3 Wi-Fi. Yes, I disabled the Wi-Fi immediately. No beams of radiation coming at me, no thank you. BIOS, ignore, Bluetooth off. So we have that and like so many more ports, USB faster ones, so it's like that makes my life a lot easier. So all in all, it's an upgrade 
in every fathomable way. Now first, let's talk about the couple nightmares that happened. It's an air water-cooled CPU thing, the IO with the three fans. I did not realize for the longest time that the fans weren't even plugged in. They somehow got dislodged in the shipment and I was like, how come my PC's just crashing over and over again? Like it just kept crashing. I couldn't play DaVinci, like it played smooth. I messaged him, I'm like, it plays the files. Oh my God, see you in a bit, buddy. And I go to edit the video and it's like, crash. I'm like, okay, whatever, crash. So it's like, hopefully I didn't damage anything, but that was literally running the hottest CPU man's ever known with no cooler whatsoever. Ouch. And the second issue I'm having is there's a USB-C port in the back. So I plug my SD card reader in, go to transfer the files, and it looks like it's super speedy and then it dies in my arms. It just, for whatever reason, no matter what I do with that USB-C port, it does not work. It just disconnects somehow. Yes, it's dangling off, but so is my other one. It's never had a problem. So I'm using the top port right now, which is slower, but okay, whatever. And you could get an extension USB-A, but I've never had good results with that. I've tried it extension. I bought a USB-4 extension and it was so much worse than just plugging it right in. So I don't trust extensions. Your mom's wearing hair extensions. The last time I saw her, which was, wasn't that long ago. So some definite quirks with the machine, the odd crash here and there, the odd, what the hell happened there? But it's so much faster that totally, why wouldn't I just switch with that, get rid of the old PC, we're good to go. Well, it's loud. It's, wow, is it ever loud? So I'm gonna switch to it. Let me just, I'll turn off the autofocus of this insanity. Okay, what you're listening to right now is my PC with the Canon C70 audio built in so you'll hear it. Pay no attention to that car noise that went by. It's basically silent, even though you're right there. It's all Noctua fans in there. I'm now going to turn on the new PC. That's at the silentest it could be. I've went in the BIOS and I was like, what is this running at max for? It's not that hot in here. So I do silent mode. I'm like, that was silent. That is the idle noise that it makes. That's the liquid cooler, the top fans. Don't you start at me, Windows. So you can probably hear it now. I think I can feel the breeze of it. I don't know why the fans are so loud, but so the case is the NZXT H710i. And it's a strange case in the sense that the front panel is all solid, as is the top, but it sucks air in from these side vents. Here's where the nerds must save my life. Is that why it's so loud? Because of the restricted airflow from just the side panels and just that sound like a highway going by something with tunnels. It's like, it's so much louder than if there was just vents on top and front like my old case. So here's what I'm debating. Get rid of this water cooled thing, put my Noctua D15 in. It might even be able to hold both fans now because my other one, the RAM clearance smashes into the side panel. So I think it is a wider case. So technically that might work. Then I put my Noctua fan in the back, two Noctua fans in the top, and then I have my silence back or do I? Will they not be silent because it's sucking in air from the side, creating a vortex of hate? That's what I need to know. The second issue I'm having is this flashing just happening in one of my clips for some reason on this new PC. It's just a 4K file, SRAW, with an 8K60 B-roll of me holding a sugar bag. And it's on my old PC, it's perfect, as you've seen. That's just perfect. But on the new PC, when I get to that point where the 8K60 plays, all this flashing happens and there's like glitches and I have diagnosed so much. Lester helped me search. He's like, okay, here's several issues it could be, like update the driver, switch over to gaming driver instead of studio. And there's all this like 
pick a different rendering codec and H.264 instead of 5 and 8-bit instead of 10. And like all these different features and I've tried everything. I cannot get that one clip to render without the flashes. I don't know why and I can't replicate it in future clips. So maybe that is just cursed. But like I just made a video and it's coming soon with a bunch of 8K60 RAW. It plays it fine. No flashing. So far so good. Although my the whole PC crashed twice trying to render that thing. So it just makes me scared. Do I really want to jump into this clearly better computer, but less reliable it seems. It just seems to die in my arms at times in the night. I don't know why, and it's so loud, and I don't even know if it's going to ever be quiet, even with Noctua stuff, and that's a lot of work. Replacing all kinds of stuff, and gotta, the other pain. I could put it all in my old case, but that would be a hell of a lot of work. That's basically building an entire computer from scratch, taking this motherboard out, putting it in that one. Like, oh my God, I do not want to do all that. So like having all this diagnosing stuff and like searching for days, it makes me realize like, I do not want to be focused on computers. I just want to create fun and make music. And I've debated getting a Mac after all this, I'm like, sell both, get a Mac, we're done. Like I'm gonna get a Mac Studio and a MacBook Air for the road and like just go that whole life because they just work. You don't have to tweak anything. Although it's fun to tweak when you find little things. It's like, okay, how do you disable these LED lights? Okay, unplug that, disable in the BIOS. Okay, cool, turn the gaming light off. Yeah, it's fun to learn these things and you feel smarter but it's also pain and it takes a lot of time away from me. So it's nerd time. Tell me down below, is the reason this is so much faster because that Nvidia card? Cause I could just get like a, I almost want to do it, get a 5080 or something. If I could even find one in stock, apparently more rare than plutonium extract. And then is that why it can't be the RAM? I always see like 128 gig RAM, holy shit. And I'm only using 16 gigs of it. Is that why it renders faster? I don't know, but maybe. I've also heard that 128 gigs can be unstable. So maybe I need to remove two of them. First and third slot, 64 gigs, that's overkill enough anyway. So maybe all the issues of stability go away when I do that. But it's amazing that AMD's best video card cannot decode these simple files. And because of that, no matter how powerful you are with your 24 gigs of VRAM, doesn't matter. This one has like 12, I think, and it outperforms you. So AMD is dead in my heart. They're gone forever. And so those are the debates I have. Is it worth keeping a somewhat unreliable PC Jimmy rigging things, doing a bunch of work, Nocto coolers, fans, this case, removing some RAM. But thank you, Lester. I know it sounds like I'm complaining about a gift and I would be very angry myself if I had given it to a spoiled brat and he was like, oh, this doesn't work. And I'm like, shut up, I'd back slap his head fast. But thank you so much. Like I can actually edit the files now, the perfect camera with the perfect machine when it works and when it's silent, which is never. In fact, on page 263, he says, the CISP ISAP certification is highly specialized, credential for professional. I'm gonna read that, that whole book. It's available through my affiliate links, of course. So that's where we are now. I'm kind of hopping back and forth between both PCs. And it's like, when I want some peace and quiet, I switch back to my old one. I'm trying to transfer everything old to this new one and just not 100% committed to it. So. Ease my mind, nerds, down there with your Mountain Dew. Don't spill Mountain Dew on your keyboard. You, we need to focus here. Type, type what's going on with this PC. Why is it crashing? Should I remove the RAM? Why is it so fast? Uh oh, it's loud. How do I make it quieter? Will the Noctua fans do it? Side intakes, new case coming. So let me know all that. Should I just get a Mac Mini, Mac Studio down there? So thank you nerds for chiming in. Thank you King Nerd Lester Cyber Batman for the gift of the gods. I will learn to love it. And thank you all so much for your Bitcoin donations. Very cyber secure. I think Lester would agree to that. And there is Linux on a second drive. I'm afraid to even go into it. 
but like that could be our life too but like if i switch to mac i would go all logic pro if there's any music nerds tell me if you've ever used reason and logic pro and tell me why logic pro is better because if it is then maybe i'll make even more music all the time be way happier in a mac i could live that life so i will leave now thank you for your your nerd advice subscribe for me and i'll see you